hello guys hope you're all doing well and welcome to another video session and in this video we will be going to talk about how to update your angular applications so since uh, we have an ng update party so angular has been updated towards version 19 and it's super excitement so now it's all about how to update your legacy or previous version applications toward newer angular applications so this video is all about show a step-by-step -step journey and i will show you the real uh, real quick example how to update your application so my portfolio application is on angular v18 now we will be going to transfer or update that applications toward v19 super fast like it's kind of a very basic example we can do so that you can also update your angular applications so let's uh, check it out how we can update it okay so here I have a uh, I have my application which is on uh, Angular, and I will show you the real quick update. So this is an uh, this is a very uh, uh, fantastic update guide provided by Angular. So this is my portfolio applications. Uh, my portfolio application is currently, if I can show you, it's on v18.2. Oh, right. So now uh, I have actually started the uh, Angular server. Now we will be going to check it out like how we can update it. So if I can show you the real quick of the exact how it's the how how been uh, portfolio application is right. So I will show you quick like how we can make it now here in the update guide of Angular. So they have provided and you can find it out angular dot dev slash update guide. So here you can set it out your current version so in my case it's v18 and now you want to update it on angular v19.0 right so a bunch of other information you can also provide like medium complexity of your application and you can also uh, set it up if you are using material so that you can check out this one and if i you if you use windows so you need to set it up this one so other dependencies i'm not selecting anyone from it because i'm not using anything from here right and also blow if you can check it out so update to the new version so all these changes actually you need to be uh, provided here and show me the show me the update right so when you hit show me the update so this guide will provide you a step-by-step -step journey from updating your application so in my case you can see i selected v18.0 so it's showing v18.0 towards v19 basic applications should have to be blow so this is actually the checklist which it provides so now i can show you like how you can update it so while in your application if you can op uh, if you can open the terminal part so here if you can type ng update so it's also super fast and it will guide you like how you can uh, set it up and what are what actually are the real commands which you can hit it up right so if i can go back to again the journey part so here i need to uh, copy this command right so this is actually angular schematic if I can paste it here right so if you can hit it up so it will go in uh, like install the temporary version CLI like 19.0 because my uh, currently installed angular version is outdated so it's for temporarily for this specific project what it is doing it's installing the temporary angular CLI so that it uh, this project is specifically update on angular v19 so after a bunch of things uh, when it ran also show you the guide and okay so after this thing is done then angular directive components in pipe are now standalone by default so i will also check you out this one like how this been showing okay so now what it does is it's updated the package.json file so if we can go in that file and we can check it out like what specific things which angular had updated in my package.json so in package json you can recognize so my version which previously was 18.2.0 so that's been now updated on 19.0.0 so now the next steps are actually been uh, the process is in progress still so what it does it like it's it's updated the package.json with multiple dependencies of forms platform browser cli compiler cli and all those stuffs are been updated, updated towards 19 and you can also see here so migration is being updated now right so it's been uh, asking for uh, use application builder file so that's actually the build system migration so for that actually what you need to do is for enter to proceed right so if i do enter 
so it do all the migrations right and it it's asking for and other updates like uh, which is called provide app initializer provide environmental initializer all those stuff which I need to continue by selecting enter so now all the things are being done here so if I can go and check it out so my application had these type of uh, these type of things which are being updated ng class selector you can see now uh standalone is removed from here how uh like if i can show you the real previous example so uh it was a standalone yeah this one you can see it was a standalone true earlier so now in angular v19 by default a standalone components are being added so pipes directives and components are now standalone so super excitement for that and apart from that uh, if i can this is actually the one file so also uh, some of other pages and components in my uh, application also updated so if i can show you the header part so header are also showing the uh, what i can say they are used as like also from here from here also the standalone part is being removed and it's showing one of kind of uh, what i can say a problem to fix which is called all imports are unused so here if you can see what I created is router link so inside header dot component no router link is being used so we need to remove it so that's how uh, it's super fast super fasting angular part so it actually guide you for uh, journeys guide you for things which are unused so that's uh, that's a bit about uh, migration activity we did for from angular v18 to v19 however it also requires multiple uh, uh, multiple things actually uh, because of a bunch of new things which are introduced like update initializer however in previous angular version what we do is like app initializer so app initializer mean when your application will be going to load what extra things or like assume that I have a platform and a color system are coming from backend APIs so now I want my application uh, to load those configuration or user settings before my angular application loads so in previous versions of angular what we do is like we call services and do those uh, initializing mechanisms but in angular v19 and like after v18 it's been used uh, like called new system for app initializers so those app, app initializers are like kind of you can uh, you can use those app initializers to uh, prefix the basic uh, content config before your ap angular application actually loads so there are also kind of a multiple updating uh, updating uh, update migrations so I, I also wrote a very detailed article I am actually pasting uh, I'm actually uh, pasting the link below in this video so what you can do is uh, you can go and check it out that so in that three type of new migration uh, power which uh, uh, which actually edit towards CLI angular CLI so it actually kind of a queries migration and also one was the output based function migrations so these are actually the things uh, which you can use so you don't need to worry about and writing those and update those angular uh, code in your components rather than you just need to hit a command so these type of like one is called as this command and which is called query uh, query uh, query update command query migration command and one command is about that was actually kind of updating your output based functions so there are kind of a bunch of other uh, excited uh, excitement of a kind of uh, things which angular provide in the cli power so you can go and check it out and use that out so if i can go into the uh, system here okay let me let me update the command so what i did is like uh, so these components i showed you so a standalone are actually being used as by default and it also replaces your browser module with server transition with injection of app id token to set application id upgrade your typescript version to 5.5 or later and router dot error handler so these are kind of a very good things after running those those migration commands so it will do it for you so if I can go inside what I can say what file it was so router file this is the router file this is the app config file if you can see here I also added uh, those things earlier for my own understanding so yeah 
that's a bit about it and if we are doing npm start so now this in the command so you can see now this version of angular is been running uh, if i can show you my dev mode so in that dev mode if i can go in angular extension i have okay okay so this one so this is actually the angular which i have so profiler you can see check it out so you can see here now angular version this portfolio is not responsive i'm currently working on it like day and night to make it available but due to the office things i need also to check things so you can see here if you can see it's angular v19 if i can zoom it a bit so you can see now our application is being updated towards v19 so that's a bit about this video go and check it out these type of amazing stuff and you can also update your angular applications to v18 and guys thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully we will have another informative session next thank you so much and see you this time bye bye